Hello students! Welcome to Grade 8 Mathematics class with Ma'am Lorena S. Maglonzo. Before we start, get ready your materials. Opens, paper, or answer sheet, and of course, don't forget your Mathematics Quarter 1, Module 6, Illustrating a Rectangular Coordinate System. This video lesson will help you master rectangular coordinate system and its uses. After going through your module, you are expected to 1. Define the rectangular coordinate system and other related terms. 2. Plot the point on a coordinate plane. 3. Give the coordinates of a given point on a coordinate plane. And 4. Use the coordinate plane to solve problems in daily life. To start with, let's check your prior knowledge to the lesson by answering the 1 to 15 questions in what I know on pages 2 to 3. Please read and understand the questions and as much as possible, refrain from guessing. Choose the letter of the correct answer and write it on your answer sheet. Good luck! What do you see in the picture? If your answer is a map, you are correct. Historically, maps played a vital role for travelers and explorers. Do you see the lines in the map? What lines do you see? Very good. This map contains vertical and horizontal lines called longitude and latitude respectively. In this modern day, map applications and the global positioning system or the GPS in your mobile phone still utilize the use of horizontal and vertical lines to give you the exact location or coordinate of the place you are looking for. Activity Plot Me Direction Plot the given point in the number line. Write your answer in your answer sheet. This can be found in pages 4 to 5. How are you able to locate a positive point and a negative point in the horizontal number line? Yes, you are right. Positive points on your horizontal number line are can be found to the right of the origin while the negative points are on the left of the origin. How are you able to locate the positive point and a negative point in the vertical number line. Very good! Positive points on a vertical number line are above the origin and below the origin are the negative points. Now, let's proceed to what's new. Activity, identify the location on page 6. Suppose the books in the shelf are arranged in the following manner. Describe the location of the books by writing the row number and the column number. Let's have an example. In what row can you find the magazines? Correct! That is in row 1. How about its location in column very good. It is in column 2. We can describe the location of magazine using row and column number by writing 1 and 2. Now, it's your turn. Describe the location of math textbooks. If your answer is 4, 1, you are correct. How about the science textbooks? Very good. That is 3, 1. This time, describe the location of the other books. Let's now move to what is it. Do you know who is René Descartes? René Descartes is a French mathematician who is known as the father of modern mathematics 
and rectangular coordinate system is named after him, which is also known as a Cartesian plane. What is rectangular coordinate system? Rectangular coordinate system is a coordinate system that is composed of two perpendicular number lines that meet at a point of origin. The two number lines are the x-axis, which is the horizontal number line, and the y-axis, which is the vertical number line. Their point of intersection is called the origin, which has the coordinate 0, 0. The two number lines divide the plane into four regions called quadrants, which are numbered in sequence as quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4, and labeled counterclockwise starting from the upper right. Each point in the coordinate plane is represented by a pair of numbers called an ordered pair or coordinates of the point. X-coordinate or abscissa is the first number which tells the horizontal distance. Y-coordinate or ordinate is the second number which tells the vertical distance of the point from the origin. The signs of the first and second coordinates of a point vary in the four quadrants. If both the x and y coordinates are positive, then the point is in quadrant 1. If the x coordinate is negative and the y coordinate is positive, then the point is in quadrant 2. If both the x and y coordinates are negative, then the point is in quadrant 3. And if the x coordinate is positive, and the y coordinate is negative, then the point is in quadrant 4. This means that you can easily tell which quadrant an ordered pair is located by just simply looking at the signs of the coordinates. There are also points which lie in the x and y axis. The points that lie in the x axis have coordinates x, 0, and the points which lie in the y-axis have coordinates 0, y, where x and y are real numbers. Let us explore the following example. Plot the following points in the Cartesian plane. Number 1. A. 1, 0. To plot point A, start at the origin and count 1 unit to the right. Since the y-coordinate is 0, point A is located here. Next, for number 2, B, 2, 1. Since the coordinates are both positive, the location of point B is in quadrant 1. So from point 0, we're now going to count 2 units to the right and then one unit up. The location of point B is here. Next, number 3. C, 0, 3. Again, start from point 0 and then move 3 units above and the location of point C is here. Number 4. We have D, negative 4, 2. Since the x-coordinate is negative and the y-coordinate is positive, point D is in quadrant 2. So we're now going to count. We're now going to count 4 units to the left from the origin. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 2 units above, 1, 2. The location of point D is here. Next, number 5. E, negative 2, negative 3. Both the coordinates are negative. So, point E is in quadrant 3. From point 0, Count 2 units to the left and 3 units down. 
the location of point E is here. And for last, letter F, 4, negative 4, since X coordinate is positive and Y coordinate is negative, point F is in quadrant 4. From point 0, count 4 units to the right, and then 4 units below. Here is the location of point F. Remember, in naming the coordinates of a point, the first coordinate is the X coordinate and the second is Y coordinate. They can't be interchanged. In plotting the points in the Cartesian plane, Start making move from the origin, either right or left in the x-axis, then move up or down in the y-axis. Let us now have example number 2. Use the Cartesian plane to find the coordinates of the following points. Point M is in quadrant 2. It is located 2 units to the left of the y-axis and 3 units above the x-axis. Hence, the coordinates of the point M is negative 2, 3. Letter B, A. Point A is in quadrant 3. It is located 1 unit to the left of the y-axis and 2 units below the x-axis. Hence, the coordinates of the point A is Negative 1, negative 2. Letter C. T. Point T is in quadrant 4. It is located 2 units to the right of the y-axis and 4 units below the x-axis. Hence, the coordinates of the point T is 2, negative 4. H. Point H is in quadrant 1. The point is located 3 units to the right of the y-axis and 2 units above the x-axis. Hence, the coordinates of the point H is 3, 2. Sample 3. Plot the following points in the Cartesian plane and determine the quadrant. Number 1, L, 3, 4, means that the point is located 3 units to the right of the y-axis and 4 units above the x-axis. Since the sign of the coordinates are both positive, point L is in quadrant 1. Point O, negative 3, 4 means that the point is located 3 units to the left of the y-axis and 4 units above the x-axis. Since the sign of the x-coordinate or the abscissa is negative and the sign of the y-coordinate or the ordinate is positive, then point O is in quadrant 2. V, negative 3, negative 4, means that the point is located 3 units to the left of the y-axis and 4 units below the x-axis. Since the signs of both x and y coordinates are both negative, point B is in quadrant 3. E, 3, negative 4, means that the point is located 3 units to the right of the y-axis and 4 units below the x-axis. Since the sign of the x coordinate or abscissa is positive and the sign of the y coordinate or ordinate is negative, point E is in quadrant 4. Connect each pair of consecutive points and find the perimeter of the quadrilateral. Connecting the adjacent vertices, we see that point L, O, V, and E forms a rectangle. To find the perimeter of the rectangle, we know that P is equal to 2L plus 2W.
Note that each interval in the Cartesian plane represents one unit of measure. This means that the quadrilateral form by the points L, O, V, E has length of 8 units and width of 6 units. Hence, the perimeter of quadrilateral love is 28 units. Now that you already learned the rectangular coordinate system, I think you are now ready to answer the activities in What's More. In Activity 1, Wow Caraga, on page 10, you are going to describe the location of each point that represents the place in Caraga region. An example is done for you. The coordinates of Dinagat Islands is negative 1 and 3 and its quadrant is quadrant 2. Write your answer in a separate sheet of paper. Activity 2. Spotting erroneous coordinates. See page 11. Here, you are going to answer the questions. Write your answer in your answer sheet. For activity 3, plot the points. On page 12, you are going to plot the following points in the Cartesian plane, then identify which quadrant or axis it belongs. To check what you have learned in this module, on page 13, fill in the blanks of the appropriate element that would make the sentence correct. Write your answer in the answer sheet. On what I can do, page 14, you're going to find the hidden shape. Plot the following points in the Cartesian plane, connect the points and identify the shape form. On pages 15 to 16, you are going to evaluate the level of your mastery by answering the assessment of this module. Read and understand each question carefully. Choose the letter of the best answer and write it on your answer sheet. As a form of enrichment in improving creative thinking, create the Cartesian plane of your own house by answering additional activity found on page 17. Thank you for watching. I hope you understand and learn a lot today. God bless and take care.